It's an incredible privilege to build in a place like this where you can have such a private outlook. So they've got a, a beautiful pristine beach down to the northeast and a beautiful bay down to the southeast. When you're looking at building on a site like this, you've got to try and think for the long term. You're building in an erosional environment, so you've got to think about materials um, and their detailing, and that's why you need an excellent builder. You've got to think about maintenance, and, and the client's got to have an understanding of what's involved with that as well. But, but also, we wanted to have a building out here that felt very anchored to the landform, because it is an eroded landform, there's no trees, so we wanted the building to concurrently have a sense of outlook, but also provide a sense of refuge. It's really important to um, work closely over the top of a survey from early on. So the clients and I spend a lot of time on the site sort of pacing out different, part, different areas where the building might be and ultimately where the living room might be or the bedrooms might be and what you might see from those areas or, or how, how exposed or sheltered you might feel in those areas. And that, that's really important in terms of imbuing a house with its you know, particular internal qualities and character. Yeah, the challenge of a building like, like this on, a, on an open site is, is how do you integrate a larger building into the landscape so it sits comfortably rather than looking like it's imposing itself to a great degree. And one of the things we decided to do in that regard was to build a lot of the servicing underneath the floor slabs. So because the building's partly buried um, and partly lifted off the ground, we, we use that underneath space to establish service conduits through which basically all the, the service systems of the buildings can be accessed and repaired and maintained. So much is happening below slab level. But then once work on the superstructure starts, you really read the elements very quickly and, uh, and things happen pretty smoothly. We decided um, with the client that we wanted to investigate the use of rammed earth. We thought that a, that a material which has a high, obviously, natural content, which basically crushed rock, would sit comfortably in the landform out here. When you're building on a site like this, the weathering is, is a natural part of a building, so we want to pick materials that weather gracefully so the building acquires a patina with age and looks almost looks better as it gets older. Behind me we've got formed up a um, quite a significant concrete beam and uh, column setup. It's probably one of the most difficult pours that we've had to date. We've got glazing sections coming off it. We've got roof being supported by it and braced. We've been working on it for probably about three weeks. We just started installation of our timber windows. Probably the biggest challenge with all these windows was the, um, all the shop drawings and detailing. Um, obviously there's a lot of thought process that goes, um, goes along with actually installing these windows. Even down to the, um, the detailing of how we put rebates into the concrete for the window to sit into the, um, to the sills and the way the um, relationship between ceilings external claddings and things like that with window heads and how it actually meshes into the building is actually quite involved. 
all our power, water, communications, um, air conditioning systems, all our pool plant, they all have to basically go down into a services tunnel that we've created. I think it's really important when you detail a roof that the edges are really well considered because aesthetically it's an important thing but of course it's an important thing practically with regards to waterproofing so you want to balance those two things out. When you get a building like this which looks reasonably elemental, uh, there's a lot of skill behind its construction. The old saying, less is more, uh, we as architects often aspire to having um, the appearance of simplicity, but with that, because there's not a lot of things covered up, everything's exposed, there's a lot of accuracy required from the build. Um, and as such, we've been very fortunate to work with Join and uh, Alan and Ian and Josh um, to achieve those results. And also, when you have a, a regional project, there's logistical challenges. Um, so I think Join's um, done really, really well in terms of bringing a high level of, of craft and quality in a regional site.